Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for checking us out. Thank you for tuning in to Whole World Improvisation, ladies and gentlemen. Everything you see tonight, every last bit of what we do on the stage is going to be improvised based on our audience suggestion. How's our audience doing tonight? Wow. What a crowd. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much for being here. Like I said, everything you see on this stage is improvised based on the audience suggestion. We pull it out of our butt with the power of Bugs Bunny, ladies and gentlemen. Not only that, but we take cameras, little teeny cameras, and we hide them all over Atlanta, and we go out and we mess with the public of Atlanta. Yes, we capture their responses, we capture their unsuspecting, victimized faces on our camera. We then get them to sign a release, and we roll them into these shows here, ladies and gentlemen. All of that on the street, messing with the public, is also improvised, ladies and gentlemen. The music here, Mr. Kevin Little, give it up for this genius in the corner here. brother on your wheels of life. <laughs> do you know the song it is the end of the world as we know it? Yes I do. That has been put in your popular culture because it is the end of the world as we know it. Who sings that song? R.E.M. R.E.M. That's right. Righteous. That's what the R stands for. Eternal <laughs> mankind. Righteous eternal mankind. That's what R.E.M. stands for. We're about to see Armageddon in 20 seconds so get close to the ground. Yes brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jim, 
my son, Lance Crawl, here they come onto the stage for you. Ladies and gentlemen, look at these kids, these inner city kids, and yes they are. Why do these inner city kids need money so badly that they're gonna break and enter a random apartment building? What do you say? Play to play hockey. All right, these guys need money to play hockey. And they wanna play hockey so bad that they're gonna break and enter. Thank you. <laughs> they're gonna break and enter a random apartment building. Now, ladies and gentlemen, help me out here. What buttons are on the remote control? Reverse, mute. Turn us out, hell yeah. <laughs> Play back. Playback. And this is for stage, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna add a button. Whenever I say dink, any actor that is moving is gonna create a prat fall. They're gonna spill, fall, lose it. If they're up high, they're gonna fall down low. They are gonna hit this stage. It is hard wood. You can check it on your way out. They are not trained in stage combat, so if it looks like it hurts, it probably does. Remote control, dink. Get ready for him. Give him a little sugar, ladies and gentlemen, for the hockey players. What are you doing? Lift up the window, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Stop. Oh, stop, man. Come on. One, two, three. Yeah. Slow motion. Look at this house. Fast forward. Man, man, let's get inside, okay? Man. Jump in first. Go, 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 go! Dig! Ah! Oh. Reverse! Oh, wow! Forward. Look out! What up, Sensei? Come on, go, go. Okay, look out. Come on, come on. Come on. Reverse. <laughs> Forward. Ding. I'm cool. You all right? Forward. Okay, my friends. Looks like we're inside. What do you say? All right, what are we looking for, man? Come on, come on. Reverse. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, man, what are we looking for? Okay, looks like we're inside. Forward. Okay, looks like we're inside. Okay, Reverse. man. Okay, looks like we're inside. Forward. Okay, man. Forward. Dink. Reverse. Forward, dink, freeze. In the flooring here. Okay, everybody, spread out. Look for the mic, man. Look for the cash. Let's man. slow down. Okay. Ah, I'm gonna look in the back. I'm gonna look up in these cookie cutter cabinet thingies. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. This place Nothing. has nothing in it. Listen up, Dad. guys. We sound it. off. Fast forward. Reverse. <laughs> Freeze. Sound on forward. What kind of money, man? It's like, like green money, stupid. Green money, man. All right. Let's go, man. Hold Fast on. forward, dink, everyone. Oh, no. Reverse. Oh, oh, no. Forward. Gentlemen, we have a very not a, not a silly situation here. Not a silly suggestion. Are we looking for? We're looking for a serious moment, a very serious emotional situation 
between a guy and a girl. What's happening? Proposal. Proposing marriage. Proposal. Very good. Excellent. Why is he so nervous? He's gay. Hey. <laughs> he's, already he's, he's already married. He's already married. Okay, he's, he's already married, and he's already married to a man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is one game, a very simple game. It is a buzzer. Whenever I make a buzzer sound, any actor that's speaking must change the last phrase that they said. Now, this changes the course of the scene. When they change, they got to play that change as reality. This is the buzzer. Thank you for being here tonight. Give him a little sugar. Let's see what happens. Mm. All right. I got, mm, man, I don't know how I'm going to say this. I got some, I got something I want to ask you. OK. Eh. Ooh. Eh. Woo! What is it? I love it when you do that. <laughs> Woo! I'm and then excited. You... I'm sorry. No, I mean that's I like that. See these little things that I'm starting to know about you. You know. Really? Yeah. You know the the little subtle things. Thanks. The big ass that you got. <laughs> I mean I'm really starting to appreciate that. You know. I never thought I would, but I like your big ass. <laughs> I like to eat it, chomp it, oh. So. <clears throat> I want to ask you a question. Well, first of all, do you like our relationship? Well, I liked it up until about five seconds ago when you told me how to big ass. I mean, I just don't think somebody like you should be making physical judgments on other people. <laughs> Step off! Oh, no. I mean, I That was completely unnecessary. No, eh. That was totally good. I, I had eh. to come in. I got a gay lover. <laughs> Back at you. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that you would eventually grow bigger. <laughs> oh. All right, I, I got this coming, all right? You're right, you're right. I'm just nervous, all right? Yeah, I, I got another man, and, and I'm married to him even. That was just another thing you didn't know when I just let it out like it didn't even matter. But there's something big that I want to throw down at you right now. Big girl, big. All right. Bigger than my ass, perhaps? <laughs> no, not that big. <laughs> well, let me give you a back rub, girl. You too get off me. You too no, get off of me. Uh, I've had about enough of this, okay? Uh, I have just seen your face for the last time. Uh, I get your breath out of my face. Because it stinks, quite frankly. Dang. Well, I was about to ask you to marry me. Eh. I was about to give you a big kiss. Eh. I was about to grab your breast, but now I'm not. <laughs> you missing out on some booby grabbing. <laughs> Ooh, almost, but not quite. <laughs> almost there. Oh, you happy? No, no, well, yeah. Perhaps that's because your little hands can't reach over here. <laughs> now you're going to get me doing some karate. <laughs> scene of the night, I'm going to ask Lance to do it all by himself. We have worked here six nights a week. We have been filming for two years, ladies and gentlemen. We just recently got a television show. We're very excited. Lance is a big part of this. Why do you suppose that tonight 
Lance would pray to God for the first time in his life. Green card expired. All right, his green card is expired, and he's about to get fired, okay, because of his green card. All right, pretty soon we're going to have to ship him off and send him back to Vietnam. Okay, now ladies and gentlemen, believe this, if you will. I'm going to promise you for this night, for this episode, that he will do at least 10 impersonations while he is here praying to God on this that night that he is worried about his green card. Give him all the encouragement you can. Thank you for being here tonight. Give him a little sugar. God, I know this is the first time I've ever called you out, but <laughs> hey, Buddha hadn't been doing a damn thing for me. <laughs> I'm I'm in a I'm in a predicament, God. I'm in a a huge predicament right now. I'm part of a group that's really doing great. You know, great work. They're brilliant people. They're fun to work with. And we're about to get a television show, which is just amazing to me. I came to this country thinking I would only be here for three years. Marlon Brando. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> the process that the theater took was a process of five years. Five, not three, but five. And so, I have an expiration date of sorts. One uh, of the Beatles. And, um, well, I've got to go back to my country. <laughs> and I'm not excited about it. I mean, I've got nothing to go back to but dirt and oxes. <laughs> You know, aside from a few water buffalo, there's not much to do there. Arnold Schwarzenegger. But here, in Atlanta, Georgia, <laughs> I feel that it's my home. <laughs> God, I, I feel like I belong here, finally, after all these years. <laughs> I mean, over there in Vietnam, I'm just some Emirasian. But here, I'm a cool Emirasian. <laughs> There's not a lot of me. I'm not some sort of guy that kicked to the curb. Antonio I'm... Banderas. I have a green card. <laughs> the official that I have to renew it with does not like me, because, well, I'm an ass... <laughs> He's Forrest finding, Gump. He's finding pleasure in sending me home. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go home. <laughs> I got friends here. <laughs> I got a love. I got a future. <laughs> so I'm asking you, God, I know don't talk too much. Latka from Taxi. And, and grant me one wish. <laughs> that, that I get to stay in America with a green card, or they just forget. Either way, it's fine with me. <laughs> and that I do not get fired because I have to go away and never come back, okay? Thank you very much. 
Sean Connery. Now, if that's too much to ask. <laughs> if you can't, through all your wars and everything, just grant that simple wish. Robert De Niro. You know, look down, in, down. <laughs> you look down to me, all right? You, to me, to me, to me, all right? Hey, to me, all right? Anyways, if you look down here, I promise, I promise, you know, I don't promise a lot. I'm pro you promise me, I'm promising. I promise that Christopher Walken. I promise that. I promise God that I'll be a good boy. And, and if anyone asks in an interview or whatever, David Letterman or Conan O'Brien, anyways, if they say, hey, what's your inspiration? I say, God, it's my friend. <laughs> Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen.